the feral predator from prey was a unique specimen, not only possessing a distinctive appearance, but he also sported different weapons and gadgetry that were more primitive compared to those seen previously. This was in part due to the creature's unique background, with him hailing from a different hemisphere of Yautja Prime, but also because he was around 300 years earlier than those from the other movies, and there may have been some advancements yet to be made. In this video, we'll be taking a detailed deep dive into the Feral's different weapons and technology that he uses throughout the film. Starting with the Biomask, the Feral Predator's mask has a very unique design. It is made from the hollowed out skull of an alien creature with the Biomask optics installed inside it. Underneath the plates of bone lie heat sensitive nodes which send the data to his network of heat sensing organs, and compiles it into a visual feed to his eyes, which explains why there is no visible visor. This can be seen in this shot of the inside of the mask here. The mask's infrared vision enhances that of the Predator's natural sight, but has no additional vision modes. It also features a heads-up display and zoom function. A tri-targeting laser system is present which controls the bolt gun weapon. Each of the three dots can select a target each. The bottom half of the mask leaves the mandibles exposed, similar to some Kenner designs, or some which do cover the sides but not the front. Originally, the mask was meant to feature a red glow coming from underneath, which ultimately was not used. The bolt gun, Feral's main weapon, it fired guided bolts controlled via the biomask laser system, and could go after a total of three targets separately if necessary. The weapon layout features a long horizontal handle connected to the main body of the weapon. The barrel on the front holds the bolts, which are elevated into the firing position and launched by an anti-gravitational field. On each side there is a power limb and it has white dot lights which will indicate when it's ready to fire. A major drawback to the bolt gun is that it is reliant on the targeting system to hit its mark. Even when the feral predator is not wearing the mask, the lasers still light up before the weapon is used, which was how the feral predator was defeated. Another drawback is that it has limited space for ammunition, only three shots in total, and the Yautja must also manually retrieve the bolts before they can be used again. Nonetheless, it is still a very effective weapon and especially useful for sniping. Wrist Blades, a pair of retractable gauntlet mounted knives which extend to over a foot in length. They have a dark metallic colouring and slope down at the ends. These are standard Yautja equipment and are usually mounted on the right hand side. They are used for close melee attacking and also for flaying and collecting the head of a fallen opponent cloaking device, an advanced form of camouflage that distorts visible light around the form of the wearer, making them a lot harder to see. Compared to most other Yautja, this predator had a unique cloak as it had a hexagonal beehive pattern to it and a red field disruption which would occur when the cloak made physical contact with foreign objects and would become overwhelmed and fail during events like dust storms, ash clouds or getting hit with a weapon. This cloak also seemed to have a degree of water resistance and wouldn't immediately short out like others. Like some other versions, the wrist blades were not covered and easily visible when in use. Wrist gauntlets, a pair of wrist coverings with bone inlays and a built-in computer. The right one houses the wrist blades and the left one features a set of three self-propelled bombs for cleaning out large groups of enemies, as well as the wrist shield, a deployable defensive device which opens up and fans out into a circular shield. Compared to the Yautja wielding it, it's small but durable and easily retractable when not in use. It was able to withstand bullets from muskets and pistols. The device could also be used offensively, being sharp enough to slice through the neck of an enemy when activated at close range. The Separable Combi Stick, a telescopic spear weapon, relatively small and easy to store when not in use, and extends to full length when required for combat. It is made of incredibly light, sharp, thin but strong material. It can be used both as a close quarters hand to hand weapon and thrown like a spear. The one used by Feral was unique in the fact it could be detached into a pair of fighting sticks and featured a sharpened end and a bludgeoning end. 
razor net, like the net gun weapon, except thrown by hand, used to trap and ensnare prey. Once fired, the net itself has the ability to tighten around its trapped target with sufficient force to cause the wire mesh to cut into the victim. The one used by Feral was a cylindrical shape when in the closed position and had red lights around it. When thrown, it would split apart and then rejoin when it lands. The design was originally going to resemble a more primitive version of the City Hunter's net gun, and would have fired an X-shaped razor wire that would cut the victim into quarters. Cut clamps, also known as bowlers, a small handheld weapon thrown at an enemy's limb, it wraps around and triggers the snare, severing the limb instantly, can also be used to free the predator from traps. When not in use, it can be collapsed into a coil for ease of storage. Disintegrator gas, used by the feral predator to decompose any organic remains left on a victim's skull such as fur, flesh and muscle, was seen used on a wolf after the predator defeated it in combat and claimed its head as a prize. Similar in a way to the dissolving liquid, perhaps a less concentrated version of the same substance. Backpack, which houses the Medicomp unit, used to patch up injuries he sustains fighting the French voyagers. The instrument he's seen using dispenses a medical gel when shaken and is used to close lacerations. So that was all the weapons and equipment used by the Feral Predator. I'd say my favourite new gadget of his definitely had to be the Bolt Gun, as I thought it was a really, really cool weapon, and that it was really imaginative how they came up with the way it worked and how it functioned with the laser darts, and how they expanded on that by having each of them separate, and then each dart was one target each for the Bolt Gun. And then my favourite returning thing he had would have to be his biomask, as I really liked the way it looked with the animal skull on it, and also how we can see his mouth, as that wasn't really something we'd seen much of in the previous movies. Something I thought would have been cool to see would have been that one concept for the Wynet, as that one looks like it would have really fit as an earlier version of it, but I did like the version we got in the film as well. Make sure to let us all know in the comments section down below what were your favourite weapons and tech the Feral Predator used in the Prey movie. Make sure to leave a like on the video as well if you enjoyed it, and sub to the channel if you aren't already if you don't want to miss out on future uploads. Also, you can now go the extra mile with memberships if that's something that interests you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.